Number 63 on Billboard's Hot 100, the week of June 19, 1971, Country Politan Classic by Lynn Anderson. You're my man. Her follow-up to I Never Promised You a Rose Garden, which was, that song was written by Joe South and produced by a guy named Glenn Sutton. Glenn Sutton was one of the architects, along with Billy Sherrill, his sidekick, one of the architects of the country politan sound of the 60s going into the 70s. Uh, it's country music. It's still country music. The bedrock is country. But there's a flourish of orchestral uh, arrangements on the records. And this, this is a classic sample of it. A country record with an orchestra on it. Lynn Anderson, you're my man. Coming in at number 62 that week. No, actually, looking at the wrong notes, went from 64 to number 63 that week, June 19th, 1971. It peaked at number 63 on the pop charts, Hot 100, but it was number one on country. And because of its orchestral arrangement, it crossed over on the adult charts. For a while, Lynn, uh, Lynn Anderson was a mass appeal artist not just on country, but on adult as well. And uh, she had 11, 11 number one country hits, Lynn Anderson. Glenn Sutton, let me, let's go back to Glenn Sutton for just a minute, one of the architects of the country politan sound. He co-wrote some of, he either wrote or co-wrote some of Tammy Wynette's hits, including Your Good Girls Gonna Go Bad. <laughs> I love that. Oh, yes, your good girl's going to go bad. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Get into the torchy romance territory now. He also co-wrote one of her hits called Bedtime Story. That came out in 1972. Bedtime Story was produced by Billy Sherrill, uh, the uh, Tammy Wynette song. But let's talk about Lynn Anderson. Well, let's go back to Lynn Anderson uh, coming in at number 63. The week of June 19th, 1971. This is You're My Man. 